This is Ryan Dorsey, publisher of BearTerritory.net, FirstScout.com, here with Michael Vernon of the San Francisco Chronicle. We are at California Memorial Stadium, and the reason we're outside today is because the band is out on the field. Uh, the band is having practice. I don't know if you can hear us behind us uh, on, on the stadium turf. So we are out here beyond the North Tunnel where fans will come streaming in on Saturday for the first home game of the 2014 season. This is three and out as we do every week here at Bear Territory and the San Francisco Chronicle. And we got three topics today going into Sacramento State. We're not really going to focus on Sacramento State a whole hell of a lot. But my first, we have some new first teamers out there, and there are some familiar names. Avery Sebastian. Hardy Nickerson. Hardy Nickerson got a, a more first team reps than Avery Sebastian. Avery Sebastian got some simply because Michael Lowe's been dinged up, but Avery did look a little bit like his old self. How do you think that's going to play in on Saturday, Mike? Well, you know, I'm, I'm really not sure. And to be honest, I'm a little confused because I think Michael Lowe played well at safety um, on Saturday. I think he played fine. But maybe these guys are coming back from injury. They haven't had time to practice with the first teamers. So, with Sacramento State being the opponent Saturday, this is the time to get those guys acclimated and ready to go for Pac-12 season, which is just around the corner. And having Avery Sebastian back at that safety spot will be huge. Griffin Pyatt obviously recorded his first career pick on Saturday in Chicago, or in Evanston, rather, uh, just outside of Chicago. Uh, and, and he's had two picks today and a few breakups. Took one of them right in the man region, as Greg Burns says. Uh, but he was okay. Came up and made another breakup right after that. So he's been doing really well. Got first team reps himself as well because of a banged up Michael Lowe. Now we're going to flip over to the other side of the ball. Offense. Everybody's talking Luke Rubenzer, so t take us away. It's the big, yeah, it's the big surprise. It was the big trick for for Cal to run out this speedy little freshman quarterback who ran all over the place like a crazy man. And I think it's another, clearly another dimension to the offense. And I think it's going to continue that way for the rest of the season. It looks like we've got a two quarterback system. We'll see if Rubenzer can. Uh, he didn't throw the ball too much, and he didn't really hand it off when he took a snap. He was running. They get that extra blocker in there because a running back can block. That's the that's the advantage. That's the little trick. But I, I think we may be seeing, seeing him throw the ball a little bit more, hand it off a couple times because now teams know. So they're going to have to make it look a little bit different when he gets out on the field. And remember, Luke Rubens sat set a dozen different passing records uh, down in Arizona yes. when he was down uh, when he was a high schooler. So you're going to see his arm at some point. We saw, we've seen him obviously throw a whole heck of a lot during camp and today. And you know he, he is going to be a, be a, a complete quarterback. He's not just going to be a one trick pony. And Jared Goff, don't forget, he can move pretty well too. Yeah, he can. When when he's forced to, and I think that there are going to be some design runs for both. I think you're, you're going to see Luke Rubenzer hand it off. He was two for five passing uh, at uh, at Northwestern on Saturday, but I think we'll see a little bit more. I think we'll see maybe more of a 50-50 split, or maybe a 33-33-33 split between him running, passing, and handing it off. Uh, maybe on Saturday, maybe as the season develops, we'll see that. But that's kind of a big thing. You talked to Brandon Scarlett, and that's going to be our third uh, here in three and out. You talked with Brandon Scarlett today. He and Mustafa Jalil had a hell of a game. Yeah, he really did. And, it, you know, it was funny. He was saying, my body hasn't felt like this in a while. It's, it's had the post-practice soreness, but it hasn't had the post-game soreness. You know, he's been hurt the last two years. Uh, he was happy with this play. He was really active. Having Scarlett and Jalil back healthy, both of them back and healthy, they're going to be so much better equipped at stopping the run, and that is exactly what we saw against Northwestern. And Mustafa Jalil, he was getting triple teamed at times, and he yeah. really is, he's a steamroller, he's just an, I mean, they call him Moose because it's short for Mustafa, but also because he's a very large land mammal. He is just, he, he's a very tough to move dude, and that's what he was on Saturday against Northwestern, and you can bet that's what he'll be this coming Saturday against Sacramento State. And as we move into Pac-12 play, remember there's a bye week yes. after Sacramento State. Another week for everyone to get healthy. Cal, completely healthy, Sunny Dyke said. Maybe a few dings and bruises and bumps and scrapes. Again, Michael Lowe, very, very light duty today. Darius White, we did see him in pads during one-on-ones and during uh, team work. So he's kind of getting there. Greg Burns said that, that uh, at least Avery Sebastian, he's he's getting in the rotation. He And he smiled as he said that and said, well, boy, you've played this game before, haven't you? So uh, we don't know exactly how much we'll see Avery and Darius White come Saturday, but you can bet you'll see them a lot more. So 
For Mike Vernon, this is Ryan Gorsey, publisher of BearTerritory.net and Scout.com. Thanks for playing along. This has been 3 and Out. We'll catch you on the flip side.